So here's what we're asking motorists to do. Number one, we're asking them to obey all traffic laws and the direction of all public safety personnel. On Wednesday, when the bridge begins to be closed, you will most likely see CHP officers in marked patrol vehicles with emergency lights activated, uh, perhaps doing a rolling traffic break, and you'll probably also see Caltrans or subcontractor personnel assisting with the lane closures. So what we're asking individuals to do, first of all, is to be patient. Do not, by any means, attempt to pass a CHP vehicle that is attempting to slow down traffic. That's a big concern for CHP personnel because, unfortunately, when an individual does that, it puts needlessly in peril our officers, construction personnel, or Caltrans personnel. And as you probably know, far too often the CHP personnel and or Caltrans personnel are killed in construction zones because motorists are driving in an unsafe manner. So we want um, our motorists to obey the direction of law enforcement personnel. We want them to allow themselves more time to get to their des destinations. If the bridge is closed, then more than likely that traffic that normally would be on the San Francisco Oakland Bay Bridge may overflow into one of the other Bay Bridges, such as the Golden Gate, the Richmond San Rafael, the San Mateo Bridge, or the Dunbarton Bridge. So allowing yourself additional time to get to your destination would be a wise thing to do. Uh, just a reminder to the uh, people that are living or working on Treasure Island, uh, first in Harrison Street, is the only <coughs> access point uh, to get on to the island from San Francisco. Uh, people who live or work or have business on the island uh, have been issued passes uh, to allow them access, and so that's all taken care of. Um, just a reminder, you know, this is obviously a work week. Uh, it's going to be impacting the weekend. If you are coming to San Francisco, uh, you know, we remind you to please take public transportation. Uh, you know, if you're taking the alternate uh, routes, the Bay Bridge uh, is going to be closed, obviously. If you're taking the Golden Gate Bridge, the San Mateo Bridge, the Dumbarton Bridge, we ask that people uh, leave with plenty of time because traffic will be impacted coming into San Francisco and going home. So uh, with that said, uh, you know, we want everyone to have plenty of time and arrive in a safe manner. When we start the breaks, if the closure starts at, say, 8 p.m., we wait until all personnel for all closure points are in place and then we're notified over the CHP radio okay begin your closure that may be at 745 it could be at 730 it may be after 8 if um, things are running behind schedule so again that's why the motorists need to kind of anticipate you know it's a close there because you media partners have done an excellent job in getting the word out there about this bridge closure and so we thank you for that and unless someone has been on a completely different planet they should know about this closure. So therefore, they need to adjust their travel plans in order to avoid getting stuck in the closure, anticipating where they're going, maybe have an alternate route to get to where they're going, or using public transportation. If it normally takes you one hour to get to your destination, maybe you want to allow two. Because none of us know the vo how the volume of traffic is going to flush out on, on, over the weekend. I mean, we've had previous times where we anticipated heavy traffic and the traffic was lighter. There have been times where we anticipated lighter traffic and the traffic was heavier. So again, it falls back onto the driver to uh, allow themselves adequate time to get from point A to point B and to have an alternate plan should their primary route be diverted or blocked for some unforeseen uh, traffic matter to be able to still get on their journey and arrive in the safest manner possible. Thank you.